Yes! Don't want to smell your breath after. Watch it. Run, run, run. That was close. I'm going to make sure this all gets handled pedia correct. We don't want any foolishness going on. We got to make sure we vax them good, crack them good. Yeah, Peter should be all right. Our calves are vaccinated. Yeah. Right? I want to see you slurp a couple down like oysters. Oh, the mountain oysters? I'll eat some. Hey, it's time to ranch. No, no more of this fooling around. Is today light or moderate ranching? Is that today? Light to moderate. Now let the rest of us go on to Montana. How do you guys deal with this nerd every day? I'd like Kevin between me and Cowboy, like Kevin, if you'll go through here and then drop off Nate, Jace, Rowdy. Now, when you guys go through here, for those of you that haven't gav gathered a pasture yet, the pins are pretty much at the base of that far side hill, okay? And what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna go this way and I'm gonna just wait. And we're gonna, we're gonna string out along this fence line this pasture is a square. There's gonna be seven deep. I'm gonna wait till Jordan gets that far side fence and then she, when she gets in her position, she's gonna yell. Now we're all gonna be in a row and once uh, Rowdy, you hear her yell, you yell at your next man. That's called hollering it off and all that does is let me know down here, hey, everybody's in position and we're gonna ease that way towards those pins. Now, if whoever your next man is, when we get to the holdup, you want that person to still be your next man, all right? So you're not gonna ride in front of people. You don't go back behind Nate because you wanna check or talk to somebody. Like, throughout the drive, you want your next man to stay your next man, you understand? And what you'll do is, is you, you, you work your country. So you'll go bounce your next man, you'll come back over here and bump up against him. You'll come back over here and you're looking for cows the whole way. And if you find cows, you start pushing them. And then hopefully your next man will come over to bump you. You understand? So it's a chain and each link is very important. And if one man is walking too slow, he'd be a weak link. Well, hopefully his next man come back to check him. That's why I alternated you new guys. Essentially what I'm doing is I'm teaching you what should work even in a 10,000 acre pasture. Yeah, Jordan, if you'll roll out. So like as she leaves here, She'll turn to her right. Practice. Give us one practice cry so we know what they're listening for. It's like I do, but it, it'll be loud. Okay. <laughs> and then uh, Jace, if you'll go with her, because Kevin's going to stay here. You see how they're not riding in front of anybody? And now you go ahead, Rowdy. And then Nate, you circle around behind them. And she's going to, when she hollers your name, that means you just drop off right there. Okay? That's, that's going to be her telling you this is your spot and then you wait for the holler. Kev, if you wanna just go in behind Nate and then just, you just trail through here and you'll have cowboy between us. We're gonna be back there making other Indians and noises so you don't know what it means. <laughs> <laughs> if you hear a holler from this direction, don't listen. <laughs> cowboy is out here cowboying. He's on boudin. You see them cows on the other side of the hill? I hope our man sees them. He said I'm falling behind. You're living up to your name, cowboy. Well, I haven't done anything except for ride in a zigzag yeah well we gotta we gotta make sure they ain't back here i think they're on top of that hill over there though not that i mean we don't need to go over there i'm just saying how's boudin just chilling just chilling out we like to call this just an early morning stroll yeah yeah one in the city would say taking the dog for a walk taking a dog for a walk are the uh, are there heifers here no these are all cows. My heifers are on the next pasture. What are you filming there? Just letting the people know we got cowboy here being a cowboy. Do uh do the people do you people know the difference between a cow and a heifer? Does cowboy need to drop some city knowledge on you? Tell tell the people the difference in a cow and a heifer. A heifer is a yearling or maybe even older who hasn't bared a calf yet, and a cow is a breedable cow. Is that would be the word that I would use? Yeah. Breedable cow? Ooh. Ooh. Buckethead, Buckethead is being skittish today. With that big scary bush? Yeah. There you go. That's the breakdown. Yeah, we're on the game trail here. This is how we know where the cows are because we just... <laughs> we we're, we're, this is called uh, smart ranching. Yeah, yeah. We uh, just follow the game trail. See? Not, not to be confused with trail riding. Not to be trail with crow. No, these are, these are where the cattle walk every day. They have the same routine, so we just like to... 
you know, uh, for all you hunters out there, you could also do this with elk and deer. Uh huh. I told everybody the rule that if you ride in front of somebody, that an old timer may whoop your ass. So everybody's gonna be real careful not to ride in front of you, <laughs> and you're gonna be looking for them too, ain't you? Are you saying I'm an old timer? No, 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 no. Not compared to these 20 year olds. And there was a uh, confusion why everyone had cowboy hats on but me, but I wanted to let everyone see my hair today. Yeah. That's why I, I did that. It's kind of new for you to have that much hair, so you're ready to show the world show it off you know what i'm saying you don't want a cowboy hat covering it up covering it up look kevin got a little behind so i ran up on it oh kevo where the cows at be sure not to ride in front of cowboy uh-oh <laughs> we're on the trail ride here here at the db dude ranch we uh often go on trail rides this ain't no dude ranch don't start that rumor that's worse than the Dale is gay rumor. You're gay? Who you been talking to? Who told you that? Look at Jace on top of that hill over there. That's a cool look. Yeah. You guys get pigs out here? Oh yeah. Really? More pigs than deer. Oh wow. I thought about doing a video about hunting pigs and said I was gonna feed them a bunch of corn and then uh, have you come up and tell me that uh, that's illegal that we can't feed them deer corn because it's, it's uh, baiting. baiting. And I say, no, this here is for the pigs. We're trying to feed the pigs. But if we see one of them deer, we're going to shoot them for eating this food. <laughs> Get out of here, deer. This isn't for you. This sweet, delicious corn. Very successful day. Um, we got them in here. We left the house at 8. It's 841. We'll have them in the pen by 9. We'll have them all branded by 905. Pretty good day of ranching. Do it the ones that are girls. Cut them anyway. <laughs> Fun. No, we we brand them with a number because we're gonna keep them. Like this this cow right here, that's one we raised. All these little white tag, that white tag 23, we raised her. So we're kind of replacing our own cows with our own with their babies. Then you swap out the bulls so you don't get the inbreeding. How much inbreeding does it take before it starts inbreeding? Well, just take a look over there at Nate. That's when you start to notice it. Hey Nate! Good job today, buddy. We're all super excited and proud of you. That's all right, bring him, bring him. Good job, Joe, good job, Joe. I love how they sound like, later kids. That's exactly what they're doing. Cowboy, you know, you know why these two calves are bigger than all the others? Because they were born earlier. I didn't add the end of that, that <laughs> True and True told me. <laughs> the first time somebody told me that. Yeah, yeah. I want to go through about three or four real quick to show you guys how to do this. We need to kind of zip through the day so we can make it to Ross's. We got plenty of time to do both camps, but we don't really have a lot of time to dilly-dally. So I'm going to show you quickly. If we do have time, we'll slow down at West Camp. Where do we cook the nuts at? I'll show you. We'll cook, we usually cook them afterwards, but we'll put a few right here. What we want, you're going to, you're going to pull the rope and you're going to pull the tail. And y'all want to pull him at the same time. So he's going to drag him through here and let him get that calf about right here. And then you're going to flank the calf, okay? Hey, no, 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 no. Don't just change your change it up because you don't like the way I taught you. Pull the tail that way. Pull it that way. Now go to the front leg. There you go. All right, heifer, hot iron. Oh. And why do you shoot him under the armpit with the backs? No, Just because up. there's not, you don't want to do it in the muscle. Yeah, there you go. There you go, Kev. Great job. <laughs> Good job. All right, now kind of straighten her leg out and down a little bit, Kev. Kind of straighten her leg out. Just a little bit, just so I want to make it nice and clean. Ooh. Oh, too leggy. There it is. Pull it towards your waist. There you go, Kev. There you go, Kev. Bucking All right, now, Rowdy, you come to the. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Rowdy, you go to the rope. Nate, go to, 
Kevin, grab that front leg. Go straight up. Now go down. No, no, no. Hey, you want to push this with your foot, your left foot. That so so she she caught an offside leg. Buck and boo. Good job, Joe. All right, wait. Let him get up here. Let him get up here. Now grab that rope. Now you grab the tail. Pull him over. She'll let off. Grab this top leg. Put your left leg under. And then, yeah, yeah, you're good. You put it on this other side, though. And then reach under. Yeah. You can reach under. Yes, sir, on the steer. Buck and boo. Yeah, Cole. Yeah. Go the front leg. Alright. Come on, up there. Come on, Yeah. We would come on this side. Come on, come on. Grab it. Sit down. Thumb to down. Thumb to down. Sit down. Now get in there deep. There you go. Good job. Good job. Yeah, Very you can do that. That's part of it. Hold on to the tail. Hold on to it. There you go. There you go. Man, a hundred would take a long time. And so I'm trying to teach them like the way, you know what I'm saying? Like a hundred would take all day. It's kind of like if you're going to learn to fight. Get, you, did, did you, most guys drink beer and like make it a thing? Uh, sometimes, yeah. 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 I'm just, I'm not a drinker. I and, know that. Or a, a fun haver. So. I'm a fun haver. I just. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, a lot of people, a lot like of people this, drink if beer. This was, uh, if this was my outfit, we'd be out have probably some lobster set up. Yes, that's true. As the boss, like I'm, I've got a lot more to think about. These guys, and also they're learning. But yeah, a lot of outfits would be drinking beer right now. Right, not filming. <laughs> not filming. Yeah, a kid show. Is that how they do it up north? Do they just throw it and yell? He's over here like the way they do it in Texas. He asked the rope. Listen, you're in Texas. He asked me how they do it. You know what? It's my turn to rope. Give me that. Go do a little castrating. Go do a little castrating. Yeah, let's see how they do it in Montana. Cowboy had asked how they do it in Montana, and I was saying in Texas they like to wrestle them. I, was I wrong in saying that? I wasn't saying it. The way the term is flank. Oh, whatever you want. I mean, <laughs> not very cowboy term wrestle. I just figured you of all people you know that one. Cole looks a <laughs> He is a wrestler. He is a little wrestler. Collegically, he's a collegiate. He's a collegiate wrestler. Ain't wrestling. <laughs> Yeah! That's what we in the biz call busting an egg. Easy with them, Carson. <laughs> All right, time for your man. Uh, Hell yeah. Watch it. Watch it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you didn't like that I hear heard you say the way we do it in Montana. I had, he had asked how they. Oh, he asked. Oh, oh. You know what I didn't like, Donnie? What's that? When he said, he said how they do it in Texas. That's what I didn't like. The they is what offended me the most. That's not very loyal of him. What do you mean, you people? These these Herefords are 12 year old cows. Originally, there's about 36 of them. But as they stop having calves, I sell them. And so we're down to the last three. This probably be their last year. We're gonna get the, the two bags of feed out of the back of the truck, and we're gonna feed these cows as we before we leave. Can I ride her out of here? <laughs> yes, you can, Rowdy Shay. <laughs> yeah, <Rowdy! laughs> Watch out! Ah! Oh, if the one behind him just smoked. <laughs> Make note. Is there more? Nope. You want half? Nope. Nope. Oh, no. Right, guys. Yo, Don't even want to smell your breath after. They increase your testosterone. Yeah, it even does that. $1,500 already is back. <laughs> I can't, can't go any higher. That tastes like a bratwurst. Dang, that's tasty. Ugh. What is it? Yeah, some sort of candy? <laughs> Nut. <laughs> <Huh? laughs> <laughs> like, like an almond, right? <laughs> Yuck. That ain't even kind of good. Not even seasoned up or nothing. Just. It's still got a lot of flavor. Guacamole is done. We're on to the next one. And the next one is West Camp, old son. Guacamole, this is guacamole. Yeah, you get a little guacamole on your hands. Put the little guacamole in your wallet. That's not exactly hard. Bring me the biggins.
Good job, good job. Weird that the calves will cut off by the horse, but the big boys run past them. The cows are a little more aggressive coming by than the, than the calves. That's why we put them all in here and put the cows back, rather than try to bring the calves out. You know what I'm saying? Like imagine how much harder it'd be to bring the calves out. Eric hey. Pull hard, Rowdy. Go ahead, Jay. Another bull. Oh yeah, Joe. Hey, wait. Did he brand it? No. You guys don't want to brand him? Hey, will you rope that calf? Yeah, Jace! Woohoo! Yeah, Jace! Why are we leaving this one? Uh, he's out of a. We're sentimental. He's out of a bull that that died. We and we loved him. We loved him. We may cut him later, but. You can always cut one, but you can't uncut one. Donnie, how are you for an off leg? I'm good. It's a big one, though. I'll knock him down. Go up. Up high. There you go. There you go, Kev. All these are boys, huh? It's, turn, it's looking that way. Shot left. Um, right, no. This is the most effective way to hold a calf. You got an ear tag? Yeah. All good? On the correct ear? Okay. No. It's a bad thing. Right after we take it off the wrong ear. Bazinga! Oh, Bazinga! I don't man. I got my ranch and chucks on. Go I ain't doing Montana calls. Yes, sir! Go, go boy! Yeah. Bring him, bring him! Oh, go to the front line! Go no. to the front line! Go to the front Sorry, that was good. Back up, go forward! Well, it's not an off leg. <laughs> it is now! <laughs> you alright? Yeah, we're good. It's a little bit in the dome. Hey. Hold on. Hey, Rowdy, that's your fault, buddy. Yeah. Put it in your armpit and underneath and grab onto that hawk and then apologize to Kevin for getting him kicked in the face. Deal ends Friday. You shut out ready? 95.9 the ranch. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to say it during Somebody eyed on that one. Bad, but I was like, I better not bring it To clean it off. See, these are their nuts. Yeah, hey, DB, I think. <laughs> this is the set. Yeah, Donnie! Yeah, Donnie! Are you ready? Yeah, okay. Yeah, Donnie. That is uh, that is super inconvenient. Yeah, we made it work. I love people. No, I'm just saying like that your boss is making you flip them over. No, I knew what you were saying, but we made it that work. That was smooth sailing. Great job, everyone. Hey, that was good roping there, Jay Stout. Our newest intern. I've never seen a new intern rope that good. Some say better than you. Mm. No, nah, not many people say that. Out of all the interns that came in here with experience. Because we in the bunkhouse, we hear, we, hear, we hear the talk. You hear talk in the bunkhouse? Yeah, they say that he's better roper than you. Get out of here, Buckethead. You've never heard it because they don't actually say it to you. Okay. Who who else do they say? Everybody's better than me? No, no, just a couple. Like who, Jace? Jace. Jace is on the top. Everybody but Cole, Cole hopefully. Cole and Cole. Cole. Cole's better than me? Yeah. Cole's not better than me. From Montana. He might be better than me at like limbo. <laughs> he's just so good, he just walks under. Man, we are right on schedule. Now all we got to do is work the cow. Let's get the medicine ready for the uh, cows. And while I'm waiting, I'm going to drink this delicious blackberry lemonade. Man, you, can't, you can't film a commercial like that. How do you do it? You just got to grab it, pop it, and drink it and be like, ah. Yeah, but label out at least. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you could just be sitting here like this. Yeah, let's do this thing over here. All right, here it is. Oh, I was tired. Edit that. Edit that. Why don't y'all take them horses over there? Nate, you get the vaccines ready. Cole, you start on my laundry. <laughs> Love Cole, y'all. Yeah. 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 It was a successful cattle company day. We're now on to the next one. We're going to take Cowboy up to Henrietta. 
Ross Coleman. If you're familiar with uh, that PBR rock star. So when you're ready to ride bull. I've been ready. I've been here trying to learn and all you're trying to do is teach me to be a cowboy. Cowboy is your name, so you already got that part down. <laughs> That's the best part about this whole deal, man. You show up around here, we ain't just gonna just show up. Cowboy said the hardest thing that ever been hit was yeah. by you. <laughs> he said any any fight, any sparring stuff. Is that true? It's true. He, is, he, he ran. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. No, I told you I said the props. I don't know how many times you've been hit. Yeah, but we a lot. <laughs> Before I was even come out here, I said that Roscoe cleaned me. Ross, I appreciate the props. Props. That's crazy. Uh, That's crazy to think about because you can run into Ross anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's a strong chance you're gonna see him in a rodeo. You can go to a rodeo and see this man. <laughs> Cowboy's been humbled. I promise you, I have to. Uh, many in, times. in and out of the arena. I'm just happy y'all showed up, man. It's gonna be a good day. It's already been a pretty good day. We're gonna get better. Even though that guy stretched out halfway through there, he wasn't quitting. He was freaking off his rope by a foot or so, but he was fighting back to the middle. You know everything there is about fighting. So just remember when you are fighting and you're in that zone. You're not just going to That's you're, my you're, problem. You're, like, you're, you're, you, you, you got to be what? When you're fighting, you're 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 always you're the loosest yeah. and confident guy, right? So it's hard to be that way because it's a brand new for you. Right? You're like, oh, shit. Yeah. But, like, be, try to relax when you're riding and be moving a little bit. Like, be here, be, be focused on riding and moving to the middle. You're the fighter, fight for the middle. So if you get off to the center and you're getting smoked a little bit, yeah. what do you gotta do? Back. What do you gotta do? You gotta fight people. How do you fight? Oh, so it's really hard. Yes, absolutely. Everything and anything you can do. Anything you can do to get back to the center. That, that kid right there, that tall kid just got on that bull, jump across the ring. It's kind of stretched out. Hell, you just sit. Whatever it takes to jump back here. For Your pep talks aren't that intense. You all right? Yeah. <laughs> well, we all, you know, just got different approaches, I guess. <laughs> hey, everybody, have fun. Hey, guys. <laughs> I'm Dale Brisby, <laughs> comedian and YouTuber. Do you think you can do this? You he can. It's Coleman, the guy that Cowboy said has the hardest he's ever been hit. That's right. Most UFC wins in history. UFC Hall of Famer. The hardest I've ever been hit is by Boss Coleman, bull rider. Yeah, you talk to him, Andrew. Talk to him. The first thing I always like to do is, like he was saying, like send the pace. These bulls can feel your energy. If they feel you're nervous, you're scared, they're going to feel that. So even one's real bad in here, like. I'm not if, nervous or scared. Yeah, you got to okay. turn that into. You, you fight. Yeah. You know how to transfer that energy. Yeah. So. Kind of like Twisted Steel, you know, Twisted Steel is always trying to fight in there. So when I'm in there, I'm letting them know from the get-go. See how he's calm now? Because uh -huh. I come with, I'm setting the pace right from the get-go. Everything I do, I try to do it assertive. Pull tight, get my rope warm. Listen. Go ahead, pull. That's good. So everything I'm doing, smooth with it too. And of course, this is all because it's second nature. I've done it a hundred times. Sir. But ha ha yeah, have it in your mind, like everything with ass being assertive. I mean it. Like that, that, that's how I ride. Okay. I, I, I understand everyone's like, have fun, enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Well, that mode that I get in, that's my fun. Hell yeah. That's what I enjoy, getting yeah. in that mode. Me, anything I've done has been with aggression. Yes, sir. So, that's, you, you fight for the middle and be aggressive about it, that's the best thing for you. Yes, sir. Because, you know, they don't weaken. We yeah. can. Yes, sir. <clears throat> what you think? I do you left with him yeah a lot so, better so so that's the ticket bring that fight you're like i don't i don't feel any kind of way in there like oh i'm on a bowl i don't i, I don't know what that you're not you're not distracted correct you're focused yeah 
So that little spiel that Primo just gave you, perfect. And then what happened? We just went to work right after that. You do that same on that spot, you're gonna be just fine. Y'all got jazzed up. Well, that's what you do. Y'all got me jazzed up. So you think you don't get us jazzed up when you're in the freaking octagon? Yeah. How's your growing? Same way, good, dude. Good, I feel good. That's good. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> he was a little, he had a little more to him. That's all right, I like a little more to him. That's good, man. And you are getting your hips back down way better. Like yeah, whenever he, he, he jumped way out there and oh, you cool. sat back up. I felt good on that second jump. Watch yourself, watch yourself, watch yourself. Yes, bro. <laughs> I'm ready for him. <laughs> hey, so don't hang out in the arena right in May. Yes, sir. He's gone, he'll hook a little bit on that one. Yeah, you never, you know, he's, they're getting you down over the front and then you make it back. I felt, uh, so these have a lot more than the ones you have. Correct. Yeah, no, 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 and I like Correct. it because like you said, I was like, oh, pulled it back, but then he got me it's too much. Get up, keep running, keep running. That was close. That was real close. I'm glad I went all the way over because he just bent this pipe. Wow. <laughs> he was not lying about it. He bent the pipe. Yeah. That could have been, that could have been you. Can we get a can we get a uh, cutting torch over here? He bent the pipe. Or man bent the pipe. Like, yeah, like that bull back there. We probably won't put him on him. I was like, yeah, that bull has two ear tags. That's our limit. We're a one ear tag blue. Kind of area in cowboys getting on if they got two ear tags we don't need to get on them you got limited edition signed posters cowboy cerrone let me get that up and down this is for Look, you know kids this camp. Is right here bmf hall of fame see that oh. how how of course i knew what that stood for just like i know what G-O-A-T stands for, because that's what I... Do you know what G-O-T-A-T stands for? No. Greatest of all time. Uh, we also have limited edition shirts. Show them the shirt. Show them the shirt. It's a lot like the poster. You can just wear it. Yeah, it's a lot like the poster. <laughs> you can just wear it. it. <laughs> Kids camp is in June, and... Uh, Cowboy usually spends sixty to seventy thousand dollars a year on kids camp. It's this is like the fifth year. I'm a counselor at it, and uh, it's just a lot of money. So this is going to help pay for kids camp. All the proceeds from this, and it's not going to buy Dale a new truck. Maybe like one or two ribeyes. <laughs> I gotta eat. I gotta eat. No, I'm just kidding. Because just like any nonprofit, there's a profit. Correct. <laughs> but so, not this profit. Not this profit. Not this one. But, Guys, this one we promise you. This one is not. This yeah. one is a hundred percent to the kids. Yeah, the um these posters cost um I'm not we haven't figured out how much, but all of the money goes to kids camp. And uh rodeotime.com is where you can get them. All right. Holla. Very limited edition. Like we're not gonna we're, it's got the date on it, so I was just doing jujitsu. That's why. I'm wearing my gi. I rolled up Cowboy Cerrone. Like carpet. Like rolled him up like carpet. I put him in an arm bar, tried to take his arm home with Thank me. Thank God it, it was this one. Yeah. My bull riding arm. Yeah. Not my autograph signing arm. I rolled him up. 